to you this demo on Tech here and today you're doing an overview on the app called Plex which is uh, available at plexapp.com and what it is is actually an alternative to front row it's a full screen media application and you can browse all your music, videos, uh, TV shows, movies and even check the weather in it and you can download some applications for it as well but here's the icon, uh, it's a free application as I said, let's go into it uh, it's full screen so it takes up over your, it takes over your whole screen and you can actually use your Apple remote with it as well so I can go up and down the menus here with my Apple remote right here and I'm just going to use my keyboard right now so uh, let's just show you here music first so I can go into music and uh, I just put in BBC Podcast that's an app you can download from the App Store and I'll show you that later but iTunes is already in here so I can go down through my artists here have a look, I want to go down to L maybe, Lincoln Park New Divide and there we go I can play all your music here in full screen, just like front row. And of course, you can play and pause here with this remote. It's pretty cool, you can go through all your music. It's a good song. Transformers. Anyway, just pause that now. We'll go back out. So that's music. It's just a quick, very quick look at music. But you can go through all your music just like that, and you can actually, if you go here to the, press the right button, you can actually browse, browse through cover flow as well, and panel string, or a wall string, they call it. So cover flow here, you can go through all your uh, albums, and uh, we're just going to go into cover flow here as well. And you can browse through all your albums just like that. Obviously it doesn't look as good as, it doesn't look as good as, um, as iTunes does, but anyway, that's music. Um, let's go down here to pictures. Um, it automatically adds iPhoto into your library here uh, if you have photos in iPhoto. But I've already added another source here, as you can see, it can add a source. And this is just my wallpapers folder. And I have loads of wallpapers in here. So I can view these all in full screen. So it's pretty nice. These are actually just some of the wallpapers in a new version of. Uh, uh, it's, it's no lever coming out in September. Uh, they've released some of the uh, official wallpapers. That's a really nice one, actually. Um, let's see here. There's one down here somewhere. That's it. That's um, one they actually they show that one at WWDC online actually, and uh, that's one of the official wallpapers of Snow Leopard, and that's the new desktop wallpaper as well. So uh, that's how to browse through photos, and you can use Cover Flow in that as well if you want. So applications here. This is this is cool. You can go through. Uh, these are just two in inbuilt applications here: DVD player and Front Row. Um, I don't know why you'd want to go into Front Row from Plex, but. Anyway, App Store, uh, you can go through all the featured, what's the new, most popular apps, let's go in here, and have a look at Hulu, YouTube, uh, Juice, maybe, MTV Music, South Park, Netflix, CNN, The Daily Show, TED Talks, okay, so Hulu, uh, I don't think I'm allowed to watch Hulu, how do you use Hulu in Ireland, but anyway, if you're, you want to download an application, just like click, click YouTube there, it'll just say install, instead of all these options, it'll just say install, and you click that and it'll, it'll install for you and it'll say uh, it's available in whatever menu so um, for, the, for YouTube it went into the videos menu you can see here I installed Apple Movie Trailers, IGN uh, iTunes is here already, MTV Music Videos and YouTube so I can browse through YouTube here in full screen which is pretty nice so I'll just type in my own name so yeah so, um, so I can browse through all my videos here like this one here and uh, viewed in full screen. It takes a little while just to download though. There we go, it's full screen. And it's in high definition because I, I upload all my videos in high definition. So uh, it's pretty nice. Hey, YouTube, so you can view all YouTube videos in full high definition. Well, if, if they are in yeah, high definition, I suppose. So uh, that's YouTube and movie Apple Movie Trailers works exactly the same. You can go through most popular movies and view a whole list there and you can view movie trailers just like uh, YouTube videos. So it's pretty cool. So movies here, I don't have any movies or TV shows but they work the same as videos. Uh, okay, so one last thing here, check the weather. You can actually enable this in preferences. And the weather is always up at the top right but um, you can have a look here and browse through um, your different cities here, this one here is busy, there's London, partly cloudy in London and uh, New York is actually thunderstorms forecast, but it's partly cloudy now and back here in Dublin again, so um, settings here as well, you can go to settings 
Uh, you can up to the three cities as well, three places, and it gets your it's weather from weather.com. So that's pretty much it, guys. There's lots of other features in this application that I haven't demonstrated in this video, but uh, you can see it's a very good application and uh, it's very polished. It looks really nice, and there's actually scrolling news down here at the bottom, uh, which is a nice touch. So uh, to quit out the application, you obviously click quit and quit again. So there we go. That is Plex. Uh, this has been a quick overview of Plex. And you can download it at plexapp.com. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.